that that much off. Oh yeah. So here we go. There's my friend Marty, who's uh, cutting my kickstand for me. He cut about a how much is that? About a half inch. Or half inch. That's a half inch out of the kickstand, and he cut this uh, piece of uh, plastic to go inside so we can size it and see if it needs to be cut anymore before it gets wet. So this metal, this little plastic tube insert he made, that way I can uh, take it outside and stick it on the bike and see if uh, if that's enough or not. And then if it is, we can weld it. If not, we can cut some more off. And if it's too much, we can always add a little piece of pipe in there. Yep, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that, how that's sitting up, but you can tell by the way these uh, straps are hanging. So that's, I got this right here sitting on a half inch sheet of wood. So it's almost straight up and down. I don't know if it looks that way on camera, but it really is. And when you got the panniers on there and you got weight on either side, it makes it kind of sketchy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that piece of wood out and show you the difference. If my microphone will reach. Now look at that difference. That is a lot different and a lot safer in my book. I'd much rather have it leaning like that. And uh, let me take it over here real quick. So right now, I don't know if you can all see this. Right now, this has been cut right in here, okay? And this is a big piece of uh, heat shrink on there. Probably got adhesive in it. And what my friend did was when he cut a piece, he cut a half inch out of the side stand and it put a solid round piece of Delrin in there and drilled holes through it, screwed it back together and put this heat shrink on there to keep moisture out. So right now it's, it's screwed together. It's probably just as good now as if it was welded, but we are going to weld it. So I'm going to put it back on the side stand, take the side stand off, take it to work maybe. And, um, or maybe I'll just um, ride it to work tomorrow and take it off when I get there. At any rate, it'll be done soon enough. And um, that way I don't have to worry about the bike tipping over on me, you know? You know, you park in the parking lot and you just don't want that to happen. All right, so here's Marty. He's uh, took an 11 16 inch old socket and modified it a little bit. So he's gonna take this 11 16 inch socket he modified and he's gonna go into each piece. And uh, these two holes you can see is where it was uh, connected together previously with the heat shrink on it. So he's going to get this all lined up and uh, weld it up and we'll see what it looks like. And I'm still going to grind that a little bit on a, on a, a, on a chamfer so, so you get a good weld inside. That way there's good penetration. Yeah, good penetration is important. Uh, always, always have to have good, good penetration. The best penetration, the better. I shouldn't go in past because I, what I did is I actually left a little ridge in there. And see which one. Uh, yeah. I put the marks in there so you know. That's lined up correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right there. There you go. Oh, well, that's going to be a solid side stand. Yeah, that's not going to break. So hey guys, if you like that video and this content is something you have an interest in or you want to know more information about this KLR650 or modifications you can do to it or what I've done to it or anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you watching it and um, if you would, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button down below and click that little bell down there so you know when I upload more videos. As always, be safe out there and I'll talk to y'all again soon.